This is definitely the largest snake I have ever seen. Due to its length of 100 meters, it can swallow an elephant in one bite, making it an apex predator. If you eat a piece of its meat, you are guaranteed to live forever. The film begins on an isolated island where a group of soldiers are running through the jungle searching for something. After hearing a strange noise, the leader tells the group to stop. They prepare their weapons to shoot. The leader then orders some of his men to check the forest. One of them quickly runs away in fright as a giant snake chases after him. All of the soldiers are shocked. They stare at the giant snake who proceeds to eat their companion. The action moves to an elementary school where a biology teacher named Lin Chi is teaching his students about the fossilized Titanoboa snake, which is found in Colombia. He explains that the Titanoboa is the largest snake discovered to date. However, most of the members of the class seem confused by this lesson. As Lin Chi is explaining the process of the food chain, he shows the students a snake eating a mouse. The students cry out in fear. Because of this lesson, Lin Chi is fired for teaching inappropriate things to students. Lin Chi then returns to his modest home and greets his only child, Bei Bei, who is also suffering from cancer. A wealthy businessman named Chi Tang and his assistant come to visit Lin Chi. They have learned of Lin Chi's reputation as an impressive biologist. Chi Tang is interested in the Encyclopedia of Prehistoric Animals, which Lin Chi has authored. He has a particular interest in Lin Chi's chapter about blood-sucking begonias, which also known as the fruit of life. Lin Chi reveals that he was merely speculating about the blood-sucking begonia's existence and that he has no proof. However, Chi Tang's assistant tells Lin Chi that they have discovered the fruit exists on the uninhabited Resurrection Island. Since they have discovered that the fruit can effectively prevent the splitting of cancer cells, Chi Tang suggests that Lin Chi work with them. If he agrees, he will be able to save his daughter's life and earn a large amount of money. Lin Chi accepts the offer and becomes the leader in their quest to find the fruit of life. The next day, they board a ship and sail to Resurrection Island. While aboard, the assistant introduces Lin Chi to the combat team leader. At this point, Chi Tang's own esophageal cancer is revealed. Lin Chi also meets Lan Ruo, a doctor from the Cancer Research Institute, as well as a geologist named CK. Lin Chi tries to get close to Lan Ruo, who turns out to be his ex-girlfriend from when he was younger. Not long after these introductions, the ship encounters a very thick fog. CK informs them that they will arrive at Resurrection Island after passing through this mist. The situation worsens as a ferocious piranha jumps out of nowhere and flies towards the ship. The ferocious fish bites one of the crew, seriously injuring him. Soon after, an entire swarm of piranhas attack their ship. Members of the combat team attempt to shoot the fish, but they are still overwhelmed. The piranhas keep coming and some of the passengers are killed. During the chaos, Lin Chi manages to save Lan Ruo from the attack. However, a piranha bites CK as it tries to rush to the cabin to hide. Once inside, CK is saved by one of his friends, who eventually traps the fish using an iron bucket. When they check the bucket, they see the piranha has escaped and suddenly bites CK's friend's ring finger. In response, the other crew member throws a knife at the fish and kills it just before the fish bites CK in the face. Meanwhile, Lin Chi and Lan Ruo are still outside trying to escape from the swarming piranhas. Lin Chi lures the ferocious fish away using a blood-stained cloth. Eventually, he and Lan Ruo are able to get to safety inside a different room. However, the piranhas keep chasing after them. Lin Chi uses a plank to block the room's window. After hiding inside for some time, the surviving crew make it through the fog and learn that the attack is finally over. Lin Chi states that these fish should only attack during their spawning period or when they are under attack. Meanwhile, the shadow of long snake-like creature can be seen in the water. As their ship suddenly stops, Chi Tang comes outside and calls their captain, who informs them that the ship's engine needs maintenance. As a result, they are forced to travel by land from this point. Chi Tang asks one of the crew how long it takes the begonias to bloom and produce fruit. He responds that they have five days, at the most, based on their past data. However, Lin Chi, who is taking water samples in the area, believes that the begonias will bloom within two days' time, maximum. He states that the thick fog they traveled through has changed the weather. Shortly after this, another crew member tells Chi Tang that the captain needs at least three days to repair the ship. Despite Lin Chi's protests, the combat team leader decides they must advance through the forest since this is the fastest way to get to the fruit. The captain and several crew members are left on board to repair the ship. While performing repairs at the back of the ship, a crew member finds a dead fish on the water surface. He plays a joke on his friend by pretending to be missing. Shortly after this, though, he sees the shadow of long snake-like creature in the water. A large snake rears up and pounces on him. Another crew member hears the noise. When he checks the back of the ship, he finds his friend's dead body. 
Just then, the large snake pounces on him as well. The film cuts back to the team who is now advancing further into the forest. They find a strange fruit, and CK wants to eat it. However, he is stopped by Lin Chi, who explains that the fruit, known as Small Forest Bomb, can easily explode. Lin Chi throws the fruit to the ground, resulting in a small explosion. The team continues along, but eventually stops to rest. At that moment, Lan Ruo is startled by a small snake that appears behind her. One of them catches it and happily eats the snake. Suddenly, a large snake appears behind the man and devours him straight away. The combat team tries to shoot the snake, but their efforts are in vain. The large snake hunts them down one by one. They all try to escape, but the snake goes after CK. Seeing this, a woman named Ao Shi immediately stabs the large snake with a dagger. This does not kill the snake, but rather infuriates it. The large snake now focuses its attention on Ao Shi. Lin Shi saves her by putting a stick in the snake's mouth and stunning it. As the combat team continues to shoot at it, the large snake targets Lan Ruo, who is alone. Just as the snake is about to pounce on Lan Ruo, Lin Shi manages to save her for the second time. At the same time, the combat team leader throws a grenade into the snake's mouth, finally killing it. A few moments later, the team finds several snake eggs in the area. Lin Chi explains that some types of snakes are strongly protective of their territory, but they still shoot the eggs just to be safe. After the team leaves the area, it is revealed that the snake eggs they have just shot belong to a giant snake that is much bigger than the snake they just killed. After traveling a bit more, the team builds a campsite in the middle of the forest. Ao Shi seems to be interested in Lin Chi after he saves her life. However, Lin Chi is only interested in Lan Ruo. Lin Chi tells Lan Ruo that Bei Bei's mother died of bone cancer shortly after giving birth to their daughter. The doctor said that the cancer cells were passed down to Bei Bei. He explains that saving her life is his motivation to work with Chi Tang. Lin Chi takes Lan Ruo to the riverside where they see a lot of fireflies. He tells her that the fireflies became extinct more than 10,000 years ago. Suddenly, an alarm sounds nearby and the two rush back to the campsite. As the combat team gets ready with their guns, CK appears from behind the grass and says it was just him taking a shit. The next morning, the party continues into the forest. The combat leader hears something from in front of them. This turns out to be their captain. The frightened captain tells the team that he wants to leave this place as soon as possible because all of his crew have been attacked by a giant snake. However, Chi Tang claims that they killed the giant snake and insists on continuing their mission. If they do not finish their quest, no one will get any money. A few moments later, the team is attacked by blood vines. Lin Chi knows that this plant has limited range of movement and tells the others to run away quickly. The captain is caught by the strange plant. Before he dies, he gives the others a letter and requests they give it to his child. Lin Chi has also been caught by the strange plant, but this time he is saved by Ao Shi, who stabs it with a knife. After escaping the attack of the blood vines, one of the team members says he wants to go home. He is immediately shot dead by Chi Tang. An angry Chi Tang says that whoever leaves this place will not get any money, but whoever continues the mission will get triple. Lin Chi tries to create calm in the group, saying that if they want to arrive safely, they should all listen to his words. As they continue deeper through the forest, the team encounter a lot of small forest bombs as well as a large snakeskin. Lin Chi claims that the path they are on is not a natural path, but rather a path that the giant snake created with its body. When they find a bear corpse, Lin Chi quickly tells them to find a new path. Sometime later, the begonia detector that they have beeps, signaling that they are very close to the fruit of life. After passing the mountain near them, the team find a blood-sucking begonia blooming on a rock. Chi Tang orders one of the men to get the fruit of life. As he moves to do so, a giant snake appears from behind the rock and devours him. When the combat team leader orders his team to shoot the snake, Chi Tang tells them to stop because they might hit the fruit of life. The giant snake starts to attack the team, slowly eating them one by one. While the combat team are busy fighting the giant snake, Chi Tang points his gun at Lin Chi and forces him to take the begonia. Chi Tang says that the fruit is his last hope for life. Lin Chi climbs the rock to get the fruit, but falls down in the process. The team leader is left to fight the giant snake alone. He slashes the snake's stomach, but that does not kill it. Finally, the team leader tries to kill the snake by sacrificing himself. He removes the safety pin of a grenade he is holding in his hand and allows the snake to swallow him. The snake is knocked down. The surviving team quickly uses the opportunity to escape with the fruit of life in Chi Tang's hand. Unfortunately, Chi Tang's assistant falls during their escape. Chi Tang sacrifices him to the snake who has caught up with them. CK hinders their escape when his bag gets stuck in a tree branch. Lin Chi helps him untangle his bag. The team finally made it out of the forest, but the giant snake is still chasing them. At that point, Chi Tang is getting tired and his running slows. He calls Lan Ruo to help him, but when she gets close, he shoots her in the leg to feed the giant snake. 
Lin Chi furiously punches Chi Tang in the face and helps Lan Ruo just as the giant snake arrives behind the two of them. Surprisingly, it targets Chi Tang, who is trying to escape while the others are standing still. The snake then wraps itself around Chi Tang's body and squeezes him before eating him alive. Meanwhile, Lin Chi picks up the fallen begonia and gives it to the others, saying that he will distract the snake in order to give them time to escape. He then lures the giant snake back into the forest and runs towards the path full of small forest bombs. Lin Chi plucks one of the bombs and throws it at the giant snake, but he misses his target. Unexpectedly, Ao Shi, who apparently survived the previous attack, comes out of nowhere and throws a bomb at the giant snake. However, she dies in the explosion along with the giant snake. As the others see the explosion, Lin Chi emerges from within the forest and returns to them. The four survivors eventually leave the island safely, holding the begonia in their hands.